Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. University of Zimbabwe, UZ, law lecturer Professor Love Mohamed Hukui yesterday approached the High Court to set aside the recent appointment of Dr. Innocent Maja as the Dean of the Faculty of Law at the country's premier institution of higher learning. He wants the court to direct that he be appointed as head of the faculty instead, or, alternatively, that the interviews for the post be redone. In his application, Prof. Madhuku has cited the US as council chairperson Ambassador Biswani Mathogi and his counselors in Dr. Maja as respondents. The respondents have 10 days to respond to the suit. Prof. Madhuku reportedly failed to impress the interviewing panel led by US Vice Chancellor Prof. Levi Nyagura. In his application, Prof. Madhuku argued that the interviewing panel lacked jurisdiction as contemplated by the US Act, rendering the process null and void. Accordingly, its decision not to appoint the applicant, while at the same time appointing the ninth respondent as Dean of the Faculty of Law of the US is illegal, null and void, and of no force or effect, said Prof. Madhuku. He averred that he was the most qualified person as Dr. Maja, in his view, was junior to him. Having helped him to acquire his Doctor of Philosophy degree, PhD. He argued that Dr. Maja was still on probation, hence, could not qualify to be Dean. Prof. Madhuku argued that Dr. Maja could not be described as an eminent senior academic and does not have a proven administrative record, among other requirements that were sought. He said Dr. Maja had not sufficiently published in internationally recognized journals. I believe that having regard to Ordinance 51 and its predecessor, Ordinance 28, an eminent senior academic has a specialized technical meaning, said Prof. Madhuku. It means, at the very least, an associate professor or full professor. Oh, and a reasonable consideration. Therefore, Dr. Maja cannot satisfy the mandatory requirement of being an eminent senior academic within the contemplation of Section 3. Two of Ordinance 44. That disqualifies him, for the time being, from appointment to the post of Dean of the Faculty of Law. He ought not to have been interviewed for the post. Oh, and that point alone, his appointment can be reviewed and set aside. Prof. Madhuku argued that he fully satisfied the description of an eminent senior academic, hence, should be appointed as dean.